Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm here with a sneak peek demo of uh, the new Call of Duty game, Infinite Warfare. This is made by Infinity Wards. You can really see they're kind of going back to the roots here. Uh, what made their past game so successful? Uh, you know, they're really uh, they're focusing on balance, uh, streamlining the the gr the graphics to you know make it run really well on uh, next gen hardware because it, you know it's so powerful and the human eye can't see past uh, 480p. Uh, that you know they're just making it look real, real simple. Uh, you know, for for the for the gamers because you you know when it when it when it when it looks so good, you know, it's, it's too real. You know what I mean? It's just it's too good. So so I uh, yeah, it's uh it's it's looking like a real good real good PC port. I'm getting approximately four billion FPS. Um, getting some kill streaks going here. All the classics are back. You got radar. You got dogs. You got satellite. You got satellite dogs. Are all here. Uh, it's it's uh it's it's a it's really a masterpiece. Um, the, the the campaign I think they said they're gonna they're gonna mm -hmm, they're gonna increase the length from uh from the normal 45 minutes to about 53 minutes. Uh, they're gonna add a new uh, a new cutscene this time instead of Kevin Spacey. It's uh, Kevin Conroy dressed in a Batman costume. He's actually the villain this time around. So uh, yeah, it's, it's it's really good. You can see I'm having I'm, I'm having a blast here. Five and thirteen. That's actually the best I've ever done in a Call of Duty game. So uh, yeah, you, you got you got your classics. You know you got this this is a classic map. Uh, that was featured in uh, all, all the Call of Duty games. You know, uh, Call of Duty Italian Warfare, uh, uh, Call of Duty uh, Donkey Kong 2. You know, all the all the good ones. Are, they were all here. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 this is a blast. Absolute, absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. You, the, the night vision's back, and of course, it's a, it's a GameStop excluder, exclusive pre-order bonus only. You know, uh, as, as usual, we gotta. You know, I, let, let's let's play with that for a while. Just get that old nostalgia trip. You know, I'm I'm playing on a pretty nice LCD monitor, but I want to feel like I'm uh, you know playing on a, on the old school arcade cabinet. It's just how I used to play Call of Duty back in the '80s. Uh, you know, that's what my my grandfather introduced me to the Call of Duty genre. Uh, you know, in, in 1979, when uh, when the when the first came game came out, uh, Call of Duty Pong, it was uh, a masterpiece for the time. There was approximately three pixels, uh, but you know, Captain Price really really tied the story together of that game pretty well. So yeah, like I said, they're they're really they're really focusing on the balance of this game. You're really bringing it back down to its roots. Uh, you know, you know, with all the 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 you know the 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 very very uh oh it's, it's a bad guy right there see that's actually a that's actually a VR bad guy uh, they're bringing VR to uh, to all the you know even Nintendo Wii U uh, it's and uh, and of course the DS the uh, the, the 3DS uh, so you know you got you got VR enemies while you're fighting it's a, it's it's just a fantastic experience and I'm I'm sure this is gonna be a you know a 9.8 out of uh, out of uh, you know out of five from from IGN. Uh, you know, and the, the, they'll have to take away those those points because uh, the, the the dog graphics just aren't up to par compared to the Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, they they spent so much of, so much of the time on that game making the dog graphics good. You know, <laughs> you know, they, uh, they they just don't have much more time uh, you know, to, to optimize the rest of the game. But it's, I mean, it's super balanced. You can see, you know, you got you got guys running around with you know semi-automatic sniper rifles, and it's it's just it's a grand old time. I think this will really bring back you know everyone to uh, to the franchise, even if you haven't been a fan for a long time. You know, uh, a Call of Duty Kevin Spacey was definitely a was a was it was a change, but uh, I think this is going to really bring it back. Um, and they call it Infinite Warfare. Uh, I don't know. Fun fact: if you didn't know about the title, they're calling it Infinite Warfare because you actually have to spend an infinite amount of money to be able to uh, experience the full games with all the uh, microtransactions and uh, DLC season passes. And it's, just, it's a fantastic business model. I just I just love Activision. I mean, look at the look at look at that view. Look at these graphics. I mean, I mean, if you if you put you put me in a room, I played this for like. You know, five minutes. I would, I would think this is real life. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Look, look at that high resolution. And hey, listen to that. It's, it's like they, they went to an act, actual gun range, and they took a stapler, and and they fired the stapler uh, into the ground, and, and they recorded the sound that made, and then, and then put it, put it as the gun sound. I mean, it's, it's perfect. Uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, next, next gen, just, just audio design. It's uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, Dice really has nothing on these guys as far as. Far as you know, audio goes, and it's just li listen, listen, to, listen to those jets fly by. I mean, it's it's going to give me PTSD. It's so real. I can't, I, I, just, I can't even stand it. Another fun fact: the reason they're calling it uh, Call of Duty Infinite, uh, in Infinity Wars Part Part Two, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, Avengers Assemble, is because it, there's actually infinite levels this time. Uh, but but that's okay because you rank up. Um, really, really quick. As you see, I'm getting a whole 50 EXP compared to 
uh, you know, the five you would get in uh, Modern Warfare 1 or, you know, the 500 million per assist that you would get in, uh, in, in Advanced Warfare. So it's, uh, you know, it's a, there's an infinite replayability. Uh, you'll, you'll never get old of, uh, you know, you never get tired hearing, you know, how many times your mother has been fornicated with by a 13-year-old girl. It's, uh, it's pretty great. Oh yeah, that's see that's that's the balance stuff right there that that, that everyone misses. Uh, that that's one of the uh, the day one optional DLCs uh, that that you have to pre-order from four different locations for that one. You get an actual a uh, a wall hack from from day one where you can you can see all the players just like you know you would be able to in, in real life if you were in the military because that's that's how that's how uh, Americans are so good. So uh, just like that, just like that. You know the real reason they're calling it infinite warfare is because the bullets go an infinite distance, just like that. You see what I'm saying? There's a, there's no win. There's no you know uh, the you know none of that bullshit. You know all that all that shit's so fake. You know and and uh, you know in Battlefield you got all that wind and gravity and all that bullshit. You gotta you gotta deal with you know in this game this is this is straight skills. You know what I'm saying, man? Straight and then you see that. You see them straight skills right there? There's no... That was all me. That was all me. There was no win to blame it on. That's what I like. This pure... Pure skills really lets a, a good player be good. You know what I'm saying? Let's... For some, some awesome trick shots. You know what? I'm going to show you. Let's, let's, let's do some. Listen to that audio. It's so realistic. It, it just puts you... It puts you right in the game. Puts you right in the action. Uh, you think you're really there. And as you could see... In some game modes, you actually move faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. So, uh, you know, you kind of... You're kind of playing like three games at once here it's a it's it's a next gen experience it just isn't isn't something that you could get you know on 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 any other console uh if, if you still have a you know uh, an xbox 360 you need to sell that shit uh upgrade to uh to the N nintendo nx uh you, you know what i'm saying like uh you know you're just not going to get you're not going to get that that fast paced movement you know the, the 360 just can't run it that that fast you know what i'm saying yeah man uh you need to you need to go out go out today go get your Go get your, uh, you know, your your uh, GameStop pre-order in. Go get your Best Buy pre-order in. Go get your Costco uh, pre-order in. Make sure to get the, you know, you got your exclusive, uh, you know, uh, Prima Strategy Guide uh, from from uh, from Toys R Us. Uh, let's see what the pre-orders we got. Uh, you need to get your Meyer. Uh, uh, make sure your your Baby Gap uh, pre-order in. Uh, you know, they got the the exclusive uh, multiplayer skin for uh, for the the dancing baby. Uh, and then, then uh, let's see, I gotta get a um, uh, the Burlington Coat Factory pre-order. Uh, you know that way you got your your signature uh, your signature coat in game. Uh, so so yeah, you're looking at about uh, seven thousand dollars for for this game. But you, we're gonna be playing it the rest of our lives. You know, it's called called Infinite Warfare. So so I think it's I think it's pretty worth it. Yeah, guys, go out and buy this game. Go out and pre-order. Go out and get. Hey, wait a minute. This is a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the Xbox One. What the fuck? There's settings. Oh, there's the problem. Now this is Call of Duty for the Xbox One right here. I mean, there you go. I mean, it's, you and I can't see over 480p anyway.